What's good with y'all boys, man? We're finally on this 2K23, y'all. So y'all know I have to get y'all right with the bills, man. So make sure y'all go ahead and drop me a like, hit that sub button, let's hop straight into it. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say is the builders are pretty much the exact same, but I want y'all to pay attention. If you are on next gen, there's gonna be tiers for certain badges, so it might change a little bit. This is current gen today because it's the only game I can get early, but I will be on next gen, so this might change up a little bit later on. I don't really know if position matters, so you can try that at a different position if you would like, but I'm gonna go ahead and go small forward because I feel like this build is a pretty good small forward type build. Now, when it comes to your body settings, you want to go ahead and put it 6'8", 213, 7.5 on that wingspan, and then I go with whatever body shape I want. I like compact. Now, if you take a look to the right real quick, for limitless range on silver, you need an 85.3, so I made sure to get that. Quick first step on Hall of Fame, you're gonna need a 89 ball handle, so I made sure I got that. And then y'all see the defense, we pretty much got 92, 91, 95. We're pretty good everywhere. Now for the attributes, this is what I'm gonna go with right here. First off, I wanted to make sure I could dunk, so I wanna go ahead and put this up. I'm not gonna take it up too high though. I'm gonna get it right at around that 86. Now you see, when I get to 86, that limitless takeoff goes to gold. That's what I want. I want that on gold. If I want to dunk on people, I want to make sure I got that. Now we're going to leave those stats right there for a second. We're going to go ahead and go down to shooting. Now I wanted to make sure I got limitless range on at least silver. That badge is golded. It always has been in every 2K. So I made sure my three-pointer got to 85. Now y'all are going to see. If I take it down to 84, I lose my limitless range, take it right back up, I get it. So now we're going to take a break from that as well. We're going to go ahead and go down the ball handle because like I said, we want that Hall of Fame quick first step with this build. So we're going to go ahead and go all the way up on that and you're going to see, boom, we get straight to 89. But this time we're going to go ahead and head down to speed with ball and I'm going to max that out. Then I'm going to take it down three because I feel like a 78 and a 75 aren't going to be that much difference. And three attributes on your speed with wall takes up a whole lot of your overall. Now, as I'm putting my interior up, it really don't change many badges. So I'm not going to put it up crazy high, but I want to at least have it at an 80 because I want to make sure I'm not just getting bullied. Now, for my perimeter defense, I'm going to go up until I get to around an 86 because I'm pretty sure at 86, Challenger and stuff, you see how those badges switch over workhorse, Challenger and all that. So we're going to leave it right there at an 86. For my steal, I'm going to take it up to an 80. Now, I wish that we could get more of an interceptor or something, but silver interceptor is normally the best one anyway, and I didn't really want to try to force the 90 steal. I just wanted to go ahead and stick with that 80. That's a pretty good steal, and we got other attributes to worry about. So if you want to keep going with your steal, you can, but I'm telling you, it starts taking up a lot of your overall, and if you want just a really good all-around build, I don't really suggest putting it up, not for this one at least. Now we are on the block attribute, and I was going to take this up higher, but I really don't feel the need to because you're gonna see, we got anchor right here. And the next one that we can get is an 87 block. So we're wasting 17 attributes just to get that silver badge. I don't feel like it's worth it. I feel like we got other stuff we can use. So now I'm gonna take my offensive rebound all the way up to 92. I want a build that can rebound as well. You're six, eight. You might as well get your rebound up. So we're gonna go ahead and take this up to 92. And as soon as we hit that 92, you're gonna see our rebound chaser or 93 actually. As soon as we hit 93, you're going to see our rebound chaser goes up to gold. So I'm going to leave it right there. Now, when we took our offensive rebound up, it automatically takes up our defensive rebound. So we're going to leave that right there for now as well. We're going to upgrade the speed and stuff, man. We can't be slow. You end up doing all the other attributes. You get down to your speed and it's a 60. The build is trash. I mean, don't go around with the 60 speed. Strength, we need that as well. We're already a big build. Them little tiny guards. It's over for them. They're not going to be able to guard us. So we're going to put this up until we get the bully badge. I'm just going to leave it right here. For our vertical, for contacts, I'm pretty sure you need a 75. I'm not 100%, but just to make sure, I'm going to leave this at a 75 vertical. And we're going to go ahead and try to max out our stamina. Let's see if we can get it all the way. Boom. So there we go. We're, we're in good shape. Now we're going to go hit some attributes we haven't hit yet. So for pass accuracy, we're going to try to take it up to the 75. Now, no bullet passers in the game. But it actually depends on your pass rating, how fast you throw passes. If this is a 25, you're throwing straight dots to the other team, and you might as well not even try it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take up my free throw. You don't have to, you can completely leave this out if you want. I'm gonna take mine up just because I'll probably be in the wreck at some point, just grinding, so I might as well. Now, once you get to this point, there's really not much you can do. You're a 98 overall, Anything you add attributes to is pretty much just going to go up like one or two. We're just going to throw a couple more on layup because why not? I mean, why not have a 71 at least? And there you go. So we have contact dunks. We also have silver posterizer and limitless takeoff on gold. Now, remember, if you're on next gen, which I will be later on after after the date, 
you have to pay attention to those tiers you don't got to do that on current gen though then for shooting we got that silver limitless range we got an 85 three y'all see the other badges were solid right there now for our ball handle we hit the criteria we have hall of fame ankle breaker hall of fame quick first step now if you use these two badges i'm gonna go ahead and warn you you better pick one of the other because one is seven one is eight that's automatically 15 of your 18 badges you're not going to have none left so you have to be careful with those then y'all see the defense solid all around we have 23 badges right here we got ankle braces we got workhorse we got all that we also have clamps on silver we got chase down on silver we got pretty good badges on defense as well now it would be nice to get all these on hall of fame of course but that's not going to happen on here so like i said if you want to build this more all around and you don't want to just do like one or two things you're going to have to deal with a little bit lower tier on the badge now for my takeovers this is current gen once again just so y'all know man they are different on next gen that's the only thing though the tiers in the takeover we're gonna go with spot up shooter as my first lockdown as my second i just feel like that'd be crazy or you could go with playmaking or something you have different ones even glass and right here you get you a kd type build name i ain't gonna lie three point shot creator we have the stats we have a decent height we got long wingspan the build goes crazy y'all y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments all right y'all now let's apply some of these badges though because you really have to be careful this year so y'all see even though i'm just getting a gold badge instantly if i put this on then i put posterizer on i pretty much have nothing left i have one badge left boom they're all gone already now with that being said it really depends on how well posterizer and stuff works but if you wanted to you could go down in here and then take off bully and put on slithery because i know for sure slithery will always be good it always is post riser probably be decent if it actually works this year last year it wasn't too great but for now this is the badges i would run with just to start off because i want to try out the bully badge no limitless takeoff is good of course and then slithery is always good as well now for shooting y'all see some of these hall of fames are seven badge points that's why i'm saying even though it looks like you're making a demigod you're really not so first i'm gonna go ahead and put on limitless range because i know that badge is always gonna be good now blonders i guess we could go ahead and put that on as well i don't know how well it will be on silver but we'll slap it on for now then we have amped i don't really know that's about fatigue claymore perimeter shots when spot up. so we could do claymore as well because we could play a spot up role as well then we got guard up increase the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to properly contest that's going to be a good one as well so we can go ahead and slap that one on and as y'all can see we're already down to four so it's like we have all these badges we can get but we can't actually hit them all now i'm already hearing that mini magician is a pretty good bad so i'm just gonna slap that on then we'll slap agent threes on and there you go that's what i'll be rocking with for now now this is where it's gonna get interesting right here because we got playmaking we got ankle breaker and all that but is ankle breakers that important i don't really think so not not for now at least so we're gonna go ahead and use quick first up vice grip i heard it's a pretty good badge as well but i don't know if it's really worth it we're gonna throw on vice grip for now we're gonna put it on silver nothing too crazy we need handles for days of course we need unpluggable we're probably gonna need that on gold i don't know if we can get it so we're gonna put that on silver for now if we was getting plucked like crazy i would take some off put on unpluggable on uh gold for sure and then we'll just put bell out on one that's what i'm saying though y'all y'all see 18 badges look how fast they went away and then probably the best thing about this build we're going with clamps menace we need to get that anchor that's pretty much the old rim protector challenger well time contest we need that as well uh chase down i'm gonna always put it on bronze i don't use chase down on nothing but bronze rebound chaser i'm gonna throw it on silver for now if i'm playing with a big i really ain't gonna need it as much i'll probably throw it on bronze to be honest then the glove is a new badge i'm gonna go ahead and slap that on as well and then we got workhorse down here increases a player's speed and ability to get loose balls that ain't really gonna do nothing i don't even know why i got that hall of fame we'll go ahead and throw on interceptor we got a couple more i i don't know if ankle braces will be needed we'll throw on brick wall brick wall is pretty good and then we'll go ahead and upgrade this we can upgrade that all the way. All right, there we go, right there. But that's gonna be it for this video, y'all. I'm going to be dropping at least two more videos today. Y'all let me know what y'all went down in the comments. I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Peace.